Now we come to our prayer of usually a dedication of our offering and our prayer of inter intercession. We haven't uplifted an offering in our online service, but we have contributed by other means, so we'll happily commend that to God and pray for others. Let's pray. We've not neglected our offering of money and resources to you, Lord. We dedicate what we've given by whatever means. We're following Jesus' example. He came not to be served, but to serve, and we serve by the giving of our financial resources. Thank you for your generous supply to us so that we can help others just by sharing what you've given us. We bless you for that. Use what we've given in the work of your kingdom, we pray. We pray for your church worldwide, rejoicing in our risen Saviour as we do here and aware that in some places Christian brothers and sisters are afraid to openly rejoice. It would just attract the most hostile attention. So we pray for Christians, some of them in countries we closely connected with, who can't openly rejoice in you or would do so at the risk of sometimes their lives. So we pray for your people that you would protect and encourage and that in maybe in their homes or just in their hearts, they would still be able to rejoice in the risen Saviour and know that none can take them out of his hand. We pray for our nation. We pray for our political leaders. We thank you for them, their leadership during this pandemic that's affecting our country and the whole world. Thank you that there's an absence of political rancour just now. Yes, there's criticism and holding the government to account, but we bless you that there is a united desire that we would work together. Continue that, we pray. Continue it. And for our healthcare personnel, all of them, healthcare, social care, emergency services, people who are working to protect us and to keep us. Lord, we pray for your blessing on them. And especially bless those whom we know, who are members of our congregation, and who are playing their part. Do protect them and their families. Use them in your purposes. We are humbled by this pandemic, and it's right to be humbled by something like this. And so for our nation, we pray that we would join with others, many others in this land, in a spirit of prayer and beseeching you, the living God, to have mercy on us. We pray for those who mourn. We think of Eva Roundtree's family and pray for your blessing on them. Think of Brock White's family. Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Lord Jesus, do bring your comfort to these grieving families, especially as they can't attend a real funeral or a service of celebration for the lives of their loved ones. Yes, comfort and bless. Now we thank you for your word in our midst. Thank you for Luke gathering these eyewitness accounts of people who first witnessed the risen Jesus. What a privilege to have texts that take us right into these events. So bless our reading, our listening, our learning, Dave's reflecting, continue to reflect on and teach us from Luke's account. Bless our fellowship after this service too, we pray. So hear our prayers as we bring ourselves, our church, our worldwide church, our nation and people that we love to you in our prayers. For Jesus' sake. Amen.